Okay, algebra one, lesson 81. This is on graphical solutions, inconsistent equations, and dependent equations. <laughs> okay, so um, we just learned how to graph when you see something like this. Y equals mx plus b. For example, if it said 2x plus 4, I taught you how to graph that. Okay? And we're going to be doing that today, but there are going to be three different types of graphs. Okay? And I'm going to write them down. It is called, I usually don't teach this till the end, but I really think it's important to teach now. So, consistent, inconsistent, and dependent. Okay, these are all graphing, just different. Is that a consistent graph, an inconsistent graph, or a dependent graph? And I'm going to be able to show you by looking at the graph what it is. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is we're going to learn about the consistent one. Okay, and I'm going to draw a graph up here. Or maybe I shouldn't have. Um, pause that. Okay. Now, I've got a wet, or a, a wet erase up here so that I can take and erase it if I need to. Okay, so the first one is this. It says y equals x plus 1, and then it says y equals negative 2x plus 4. Now, there's two different ways you can graph this. You can do an xy chart and create them and figure it out and all that and do the math. Or... There is the y-intercept um, form that I taught you where you can look at this and know where to graph it. And that's the one we're going to use. Um, but if you like lesson 51, you can go back to lesson 51 and do it that way. Or you can do lesson 75, which is what we're going to be doing today. So you can choose which one, but I'm going to choose 75, lesson 75. Okay. Now remember, um, we're trying to come up with y equals mx plus b. This B, do you remember, is the y-intercept? Mm -hmm. It's where okay. it the line. That's where you put, you start with your dot. Okay? This would be our B and this, are, this would be our B. Okay, the M is the slope. Okay? And the slope is rise over ruin. You remember these ones? Uh, okay. Now, if there's not an M here, there is, even if you can't see it, there's a 1. Yeah. Okay? Because 1x, there's at least 1x right there. So it's 1x. So on this one, the slope would be negative 2, um, and we go on and make that into a fraction form. Negative 2 over 1 is the same thing as negative 2, mm -hmm. right? And then 1 over 1 is the same thing as 1. Yeah. Okay, so now we have our slope, and we have our y-intercept. So I'm going to go and graph both of these. So let's graph this one first. Actually, I made it blue and red. I'll make this one blue and that one red. Okay, so I'm supposed to put on the y intercept, this is my y, and this is my x. Okay, I'm going to put it on 1. One's going to be right here. I'm just going to put a dot. Okay, can you see that? Okay, and then my rise over run is I'm going to rise 1, run 1. Rise 1, run 1. So rise 1, run 1. Rise 1, run 1. Rise, run. Rise, run. And it's just going to keep doing that over and over. And I'm even going to go down over, down over, down over, down over, just so I can get some negatives as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to have this line. And it's going to be best if I can do this with a ruler, just because in the future it's going to be important. Okay, now, now I'm going to graph my blue one. I want you to see what happens. My blue one is, um, we're going to put it on the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then we're going to go negative 2, 1. Negative 2, 1. So, rise is negative 2 or fall. Rise or fall. Negative 2. We're going to fall negative 2 and go over 1. So, from here, we're going to fall 1, 2, over 1. 1, 2, over 1. 1, 2. 2 over 1. 1, 2 over 1. You see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go 1, 2 over 1. 1, 2 over 1. Okay, so, not perfect, but best I can do for right now. Okay, 
There you go. Now, hopefully you see that this right here is the most important. That's what makes this consistent. It's because consistent lines will always have a crossing point. Okay, so I would write down that in your notes. That consistent um, graphing lines will always have one point that is, how do they call it? Um, we'll always have one point I'm find it, where it states it, where the uh, in, where it intersect, intersects has a single ordered pair as a common solution. So this one, one, two is our spot that we have that intersected. One over up two is the spot where it intersected. It shares this common solution. Got it? So that's what consistent is. Consistence will look like this. Okay? Just so you know. All right? Um, the next one that we will do is going to end up giving us the same kind of thing. So stay with me for just a second. I'm going to leave that there for a second. All right? Now here's what it says. Y equals X plus 1. And y, oh, y equals x, and y equals 2. Now, this one, because we don't have y equals mx plus b, we can't use the slope-intercept form to graph it. You're going to have to do your xy chart. Okay? So, the xy chart, let's do the red one first. If y is 2, it didn't tell us what x is, so let's just put anything. Um, x is 1. If y is 2, x is negative 1. If y is 2, x is 4. If y is 2, negative 4. I just try to get one negative, one positive. You see, y is always 2. So, let's go and graph this. 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 1, 2, 4, 2, negative 4, 2. So, as you can see, it makes a perfect line because it's that's 2. Y equals 2. Okay, and it didn't tell us what Y or X was on this one. They just told us that they equal each other. Well, guess what that means? If Y, if X is y, uh, 1, then Y is 1 because they equal each other. If X is 2, Y is 2. If X is 3, Y is 3. Let's do some negative numbers. Negative, negative 1. Okay, so now 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 3, oh, I should have been doing really, sorry about that. 3, 3, 4, 4. As you can see, what do you notice? They intersect. It crossed, so it is a consistent. consistent. And what are they sharing? They are sharing one, two, two. two. That's the one they're sharing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got it? That is consistent. Now, Let's talk about inconsistent, which is our next ones. Okay, so here we go, inconsistent. And they're wanting us to graph um, y equals x plus 2, y equals x minus 1. Okay, it's in the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and remember if it doesn't have the m, you just want to put a 1 there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to want to make this plus negative as well, just because I like working with negatives instead. Okay, so now I graph it just as it is, okay? So I'm going to graph it using this, so remember this is my y, this is my x, so I'm going to graph a 2, and then my rise over 1, which is 1, so it'll be 1 over 1. So I'm going to rise 1 over 1. Rise 1 over 1, rise 1 over 1, rise 1 over 1. I'm going to do the same thing down, 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 down. Okay? And as you can see, it makes this sort of line. I'm just thinking it up. Okay, now, the next thing is, let's do this one. I'm going to graph negative 1. And then I'm going to go rise run 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Same thing. And what do you notice? 
They're parallel. They're parallel. So guess what your rule is for inconsistent? Parallel lines. Parallel. So I'm just going to write parallel. And the L's on parallel are parallel. Okay? That's my little signal for that one. That's my signal for that one. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right. I can see it so far. Mm -hmm. All right. What if they give you something like this? X plus Y equals 2. And X plus Y equals negative 3. Is this in slope intercept form? No. It's not, but it can be put in slope intercept form. How? By answering for Y. Mm -hmm. So watch what happens. I'm going to answer for Y on this one. X plus Y equals 2. I'm going to get my X on the other side. So this plus X becomes minus X. So then I'm going to make it a negative 1X or just negative X plus my 2 here. Okay, so y equals negative 1, so this, I probably should have done that. I have 1x plus y, so this um, 1x becomes negative 1x plus 2. You understand? Okay, so then that's that one, and let's go and do the next one. y equals, and I'm going to put a 1 with that, negative 1x plus a negative 3. Since I already got my negative 3. So, you see how I did that? Mm -hmm. I just answered for y. So now these are my two equations, this one and this one. And so if I was graphing this, I would graph 2. And then I would go negative 1, 1. 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 Okay? On something like that. And then my red one, I'm going to graph it on negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And then I'm going to go negative 1, 1. 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 And as you can see, it's going to be inconsistent or parallel. Okay? So that's kind of showing you that. Mm -hmm. All right. Feel like you're understanding everything so far? Now let's talk about dependent. Okay? Dependent um, basically is going to give you the same equation. So I'm going to write same out here. Same. And what I mean by that is this example right here. Y minus X equals 2. 2Y minus 2X equals 4. Now here's all they said was graph these which is whatever one of them has said, graph, yeah. graph, graph. Okay, well, first of all, we need to make it y equals something on both of them. So let's go ahead and do that. y equals, I'm going to make this 1x plus a negative. Okay, and so this negative 1x, when I bring it over here, becomes positive 1x, so 1x plus 2. Mm -hmm. Got it? So that's my answer for that one, putting it in mx plus b form, mm -hmm. slope form. Okay, and this one, okay, I've got 2y equals 4, and then when I move this negative 2x, it's going to become a positive 2x. Now, I want it to say mx plus b, so I'm going to put 2x plus 4 instead of 4 plus 2x. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, I need to take this, and since I just want it to be by itself a y, since it says 2, time, two times y, I'm going to take this times 2 and divide it by 2. And you have to divide both of them by 2 because yeah. it's not just one whole problem. Okay? And so 2 over 2 becomes 1. 1 over 1, which is 1. Okay? And 4 divided by 2 becomes 2. two. Now, y equals 1x plus 2. Mm -hmm. Y equals 1x plus 2. Guess what? When I graph that, we're going to get the same line. Yeah. Because they really equal the same. So when you first saw it, y equals, I'm sorry, y minus x equals 2, and then 2y plus negative 2x equals 4. They look like they are two totally different problems. Yeah. But when you work it out, it's, it's the same. So same is going to give you the dependent, because they're dependent upon one another, meaning they're the same. Okay. So if I were to graph this, let's go and do it. 2 would be here, and then I'm going to go 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's going to look like this. 
Okay? And if I go right after that one, it would be the same. Yep. Okay? Got it? Yep. All right. So that's pretty much what you need to know is that consistence, consistent, share a middle spot, an ordered pair. Inconsistent have parallel lines, and they will never cross. And then dependent just has one line. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's lesson one.